I think an invention is a creation. It's something that has been understood about the natural world that maybe isn't obvious at first glance. So it's, that is always a question at the beginning and understanding, uh, you know, what could be novel, what is missing. This is what I would call invention. In a way, all kids are scientists. They start off curious about the world. They wonder why things are the way they are. And by giving kids an opportunity to have a hands-on experience of discovery, of figuring something out, is extraordinary. It certainly was for me. I was excited about working on RNA because it was a new area of biology at the time. It was undiscovered, kind of uncharted, not completely, but enough that I felt there was a lot more to be done. If you want to answer a global question, you know, you, you, you may need to associate yourself with someone who has uh, a complementary expertise. I mean, doing science is also a human story. And collaborations, it's also about, you know, different spirit together and it's also boosting and exciting. I ended up meeting Emmanuelle Charpentier and beginning work with her laboratory on a protein called CRISPR-Cas9, which turned out to be an incredibly interesting protein that has the ability to trigger targeted changes in DNA sequences in any cell. We realized fairly quickly that we were onto something that had much bigger potential than what we had thought we were initially investigating. And that was an extraordinary moment. The tool for discovery in this case is also the tool for action. CRISPR is uh, a technology that allows to edit uh, genes and genomes. So it works a little bit as if uh, the DNA was a text and as if CRISPR was a software. And this really is this possibility now that we have to do genetics in human cells, which we did not have prior to CRISPR Cas9. Potential for the technology to have real implications in people's lives is extraordinary. I, I'm getting chills even now thinking about it. I mean, just, you know, the, the impact of our technology on patients is, is extraordinary and, and, you know, makes me feel very excited for the future. So it's very critical to think of the next young generation allows the scientists to be creative and inventive to the change of society and the young generation and, and work with them people reach out to me and see me as a mentor. And then I realize that they're right. I now do have that role to play and it's in a way passing the baton because I was fortunate to have many people that did that for me.